I'm so happy that this is where my life is going in the next five minutes. Right up top, my name is Megan Batoon. I am not a professional chef, but this is the one thing I know how to make. I gotta take a breath because I'm so excited. If you've seen my Instagram or Snapchat stories any given day, I'm sure I feature this food because I make it every day. I'm gonna show you how to make my specialty meatless, bunless, I think it's vegan burger. The name I'm unsure of, but I definitely know how to make it. Probably not gonna be that many jokes in this video because there's no kidding around when I say this is the best burger I've ever had. Let's go. First thing you need is the meatless burger patty. It normally comes in a package like this. It's called Beyond Meat, the Beyond Burger. It's a plant-based burger patty that tastes so much better than meat. And if you know me at all, you know I love meat. I feel like with the internet, you can't say anything without it being taken the wrong way or out of context. Take your burger patty. One day I randomly made this, and ever since then, I make it the exact same way. It's foolproof, it's signature, it's delicious. To begin with, I smother it. I season the burger with organic, no salt seasoning from Costco. Oh shoot, okay, I meant smother, but evenly smother. Oh no, I've done this before. And now that I'm trying to show you, okay, just smack it around a bit, get it covered. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. Shove some pepper on this thing. Cumin, I don't really even know what cumin tastes like by itself, but on this, mm-hmm. Oh, ah, interesting. Smells like roasted red peppers in a sweaty gym sock. Cumin, <laughs> throw some cumin on here, and then I've got some ground sage that I'm also going to put. We're ready to start cooking it. Grab a pan with some nonstick spray. Put your burger patty on the pan, face side down for three minutes. While that heats up, we're gonna prep the toppings, but we're gonna start with the bun. Instead of using a bun or bread, we're gonna wrap it in lettuce, which is protein style. I have butter lettuce. At first I was using iceberg lettuce and then I discovered this. I actually felt dumb and sorry for myself that I wasted my time on iceberg lettuce. And I know, be careful with your opinions and any statement you make could be polarizing, but honestly, iceberg lettuce is basically just cold trash sheets. I hate it. Just a quick fact about me. The thing with this burger is that it's pretty messy, so you're gonna wanna get a plate and some aluminum foil to wrap up all of your ingredients to suction it together to just shove it right in your mouth, Krabby Patty style. That's how good this burger is. You know that episode of SpongeBob when whoever is eating a Krabby Patty is like, that's so good, I wanna taste it again. Give me that. <laughs> Why it tastes so good. I think I'd like to try it a second time. Full on regurgitates it in whole, even though he chewed it, so it really doesn't make sense with physics. That's how good this is. Before we flip this over, we're gonna season it in the same exact fashion. Flip it over, and as soon as we flip it over, we're gonna add our cheese to melt. For the cheese, we're using vegan chow slices. This is the creamy original. I'm not vegan, I don't know why I bought this, but it's incredible. Cover it like a little blanket. Another three minutes on the clock. Now take the butter lettuce and rip off some sheets. I alternate the direction of the sheets. We want the burger to be how we strive to be. Minimal fat and well-rounded. One of these sides is gonna be on the bottom, the other side is gonna be on the top. Next up, get a Roma tomato. Slice this laterally so that we've got two slices. Next up, we need avocado because, oh my gosh, avocado on a burger is probably the best idea I've ever thought of. I mean, I didn't think of it. Whoever thought of it, you did a good job. We only need one fourth of an avocado for this. Release the cado, like four or five slices. Sometimes the cheese acts up a little bit and doesn't melt all the way. So I'm gonna show you an insider's tip. So you see that it's like not fully done. Push it off to the side, melt it a little bit. And then once it's a little bit warmed up, just slide it right on the burger. Now it's time to start putting it all together. Remove the burger from the pan, and you'll see that it's still pink on the inside. That doesn't matter because it's not meat, and if it was, it should be pink already or you shouldn't be eating meat. Now that's an actually divisive opinion. Place it gingerly on the bed of lettuce. This next part gets me hyped. Ladies and gentlemen, forget everything you know about condiments. This is the only thing that matters. I got a thing for aioli. If aioli was a person, I would stock it every day. But it's not, it's an ingredient. But I still stock it every day. Get it, puns! This is a zesty garlic aioli that I got from Whole Foods. It's egg and dairy free. Oh my God, need a perfume of this immediately. Making sure we get all of it. Tablespoon, oh, okay. 
dress yourself. I eat this with everything. I eat this with turkey slices. I eat this with string cheese. I think this aioli is my favorite food. Taking those two tomatoes, place them side by side. Then for the avocado, just spread it out. Full on coverage for the entire burger. Taking those sheets, place them right on top. Hold it together for two seconds and start wrapping and then you're done. This is not your normal veggie burger. It doesn't taste like a chewy sandbox. I hope you try it. I already know what it tastes like, so I'm not gonna taste it on camera because you're gonna see me in a state of ecstasy that probably shouldn't be documented. But please make this. If you make it, tweet me at Megan Mattoon. I can't wait to help change your life. <laughs> and there you have it. This is your meatless, bunless, is it even really a burger? Yes, it is, burger. My name's Megan Mattoon, so check us out. Did I do everything? I feel like I'm missing something. But at the same time, I feel like I have the entire world in my hands. Oh yeah, some people have been asking me if I count macros. Yes, I do. I will put the macros of the entire thing down in the description box below, as well as the ingredients. And you can do what you want with the information. It's kind of how information works. Cheers! Uh -huh.